right, Joe? None at all. <laughs> Joe Salmonese, the CEO of the Democratic National Convention, joining us live today to tell us where we stand less than 10 months but out. But before you do that, Joe, look behind you. Just if you needed a reminder. That's 289 days. <laughs> yes. 23 hours, 58 minutes, wow. and six seconds counting. You asked me how many days, and I said <laughs> I, I don't know because I don't want to appear that I'm, you know, in a hurry to get it over with. But, right, uh, but there's a lot to do between yes, now and then. There is. What's yeah. been accomplished so far? So uh, just this week, we had uh, many of our state delegates in from all across the country. We had them in over two days. You know what, we're trying to... Um, move more quickly in terms of some of the big aspects of our planning. Normally we would place our delegations in their hotels sometime early in the spring. Mm -hmm. We have a fair amount of back and forth about where they'd like to be or where we'd like them to be. And I just sort of thought, you know, um, it, it was fairly obvious when you looked at the map. And so about six weeks ago, we put them in their hotels, which means they've known where they're going to be for six weeks. They were here this week kind of um, learning about the city. We had a great uh, event uh, the past couple of days with a, a bunch of vendors and nonprofits and people from the city to just kind of help them get a feel for the layout of the city, where they might want to have some events, where they might want to maybe make some connections and work with some local organizations. So just in, in some of the kind of foundational planning, where we're going to put people, how we're going to move people around, Around, how we're thinking about security and bigger transportation issues, we're fairly well ahead, actually. And I know that you have so many different people heading up so many aspects of this convention, but one of the big things came out as soon as we knew that a majority of those delegates were going to be, be transferring themselves from Illinois to Wisconsin, yep. that now that created this issue of how then do you sell Milwaukee yeah. so that a lot of these players, these vendors and these services that you speak about yep. can get those delegates in and service yep. them. So I'm so glad you asked that. We need 16,000 hotel rooms in order to accommodate everybody. We've got 11,000 in Wisconsin and about 5,000 in Illinois. We will use them all. Okay. We will fill every single hotel room that we have available to us in Wisconsin. We've got about a third of our delegates here in downtown Milwaukee. You all know based on where Milwaukee is, some number of them in northern Illinois, just by virtue of you know where we would go next. Mm -hmm. But the thing about the delegates is they'll leave their hotel at about 9 in the morning. They'll be here all day long and they'll get back at about midnight. We have 1,500 hotel rooms we will fill in Madison. Some of those folks will be there for part of the day. Some of them will kind of come and go. So in terms of economic impact, in terms of people kind of spending their dollars in Racine and Kenosha, and, yes. you know, we will fill all those rooms and we will have that done by next July and, and people will be there and we'll be utilizing those resources. It's just that the delegates are the people we are responsible to transport and provide security to. So that is the group of people we place first. Got Joe, we have about 30 seconds left. Talk to the mayor about this last week. What are you talking about right now to sort of put the stamp on this convention that not just it's a political event, but people will come to Milwaukee and say, ah, I'll that come was back. Milwaukee. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's been the easiest part of this job. All we have to do is bring people here and the city does the work itself. Mm. I mean, people have fallen in love with this city who come here. And the mayor said something you know, interesting. He said, a lot of people, they don't have an impression of Milwaukee, neither good nor bad. They just haven't had one. They come here and they fall in love with the place. And that's what happened this week. Or the small city by the lake. That's right. <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Looking forward to more opportunities. 289 days, 23 hours, 55 minutes. Wow. No pressure. No pressure. Thanks again, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, to learn more about the Democratic National Convention, you can always head to our website, tmj4.com slash DNC.